Hey, Slaya. How's it going? Hello. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy everything. Happy holidays. Happy season greetings. Um, yes, totally. Um, what a wonderful time it is to be alive and to connect with family, right? So yeah. um, speaking right. of being alive and, you know, spending time with loved ones, um, what does one do when they're faced with pending death? And that's what uh, this movie, Meet Joe Black, is about, which came out in 1998, directed by Martin Brist, featuring Brad Pitt, Claire Folari, and Anthony Hopkins. Um, so essentially, Brad Pitt, who plays a human form of death, comes and informs Anthony, Ho Anthony Hopkins' character, William, or Bill, as uh, he alludes to him during the movie says you're gonna die but however before you die i'm gonna spend some time on earth and you're gonna essentially let me do it and uh the movie this three-hour movie essentially just talks about um death the human per human form of death uh learning about what it means to be human and fall in love and coincidentally fall in love with um anthony hawkins daughter who's susan i uh, played by claire and uh, essentially, you know, fate comes into some some part of it. Um, and... Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't say yeah, everything. Yeah, I won't spoil it. I won't spoil you it. You can't no. spoil this beautiful movie. Yeah, all I all I said is fate has a role in it. So, but yeah, um, all in all, I, I thought the movie was it's a it's a it's an oldie. That's for sure. You can tell by the way that it's filmed um, and the uh, character development. Um, but what about for you, Celia? I love this movie because it was really teaching you that um, at any moment, maybe your time is up and then you need to know what you're going to do. But to be honest, if Brad Pitt was deaf, I was like the first day, let's go together. Take me. <laughs> You know what? And to be quite take honest, take me um, with you, baby. You don't even need to give me <laughs> death, that. Death, don't take me now. Me. No. So I, I think honestly, give this is that. one of Brad Pitt's uh, earlier movies, right? So, and this is him um, when he was like, you know, the Hollywood it man kind of thing. So, um, so he was very classically handsome, you know, very chiseled. Um, and I, I think this is even a time of when he did Troy. You know, so like um, when you just kind of look at him, you're like, wow, OK, this guy's this guy's easy on the eyes. Right. So I, I get it that uh, that death took a pretty face. <laughs> so when, to... when he was like telling her, oh, she was like, I want to go with you. He was like, hmm. she was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I, what I did like was amazing. The whole... And there was another thing about this movie that because she falls in love with him, mm. and without really knowing who he are, who he is, so that mm. was very interesting. So it was basically saying like a very nice message about love that if you really love someone, sometimes maybe you you don't want to know. I mean, if you you are really in love you don't care where this person is coming from who are his family you know like because she was really in love with that person so although she had no idea like where he's coming from uh what is he doing here but she still loved him and i don't know if i can say that's like a lost or love or whatever it is but i found it a little bit beautiful you know because she basically didn't care about anything you know but she was just surprised she had a lot of questions and doubt but still she loved them yes absolutely and it, it really was a whirlwind romance yeah it was a like you know disney romance disney yeah. romance and boy, yeah. boy boy finds girl girl resist boy boy wins girl they all live happily after <laughs> yeah oh my <laughs> god and my favorite scene was the sex scene oh my gosh you are scandalous <laughs> no but 
But can you? I don't <laughs> even know. Would, like, if you, no, if you, I, if someone came to me, it's like you just had sex with death. I'm like, wow, I'm yeah. like dead inside. <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> no, like, and then like, yeah. The best part was like he had never experienced it, so he was like, so I really loved his face when he was trying to get turned on. And he didn't know what it is, and oh my goodness, mm. it was amazing. Every, every, I mean, I really love the the that. line in the movie was like making love to you was like making love to someone for the first time. I was like, little does she know she's bang on. Like it, it was his first. You time. know, you know, you know which which movie remind, reminded me of. Uh oh my god, what is it? It, it? it won an Oscar, I guess. That the woman, uh, makes love with that uh it was like an animal a monster or something like that i mean it, it had like water in it in the, in the movie as well uh, lady in the water lady. Wow. no he was he was a kind of monster inside the water that she took care of it and then they had sex it was amazing it was like for me it was like i really like this weird movie i mean what was it like Deep yeah, water. I, I think it was deep water, not no, deep... water, but it's it came out shortly after that. But um... No. um, let me tell you, deep water was the one that we we gave review, but it was like, God, what is that like? I can't really say that was a monster, but I'll I'll, I'll tell you. I'll look the shape of water. It. The shape of water. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. That yeah, was that as weird as the shape of water. Have you watched that movie? I love that movie. You are into some really interesting things, Leah. Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't watched it, but uh maybe we can review it at some point. But another um, another interesting sex scene. Shape yeah. of water. Yes, yes. All right. Well, whatever gets floats <laughs> your boat, so to speak. Um, so how would you rate this movie out of 10? eight eight okay um i would give it of course you would give it low because you and me were so different exactly um so i'm gonna give it a a five it's like it's a possible movie in terms of like you know you can watch it but it's not it's not terrible or anything like that but um but all in all i i think it's like meh so all in all, that's a 6.5 uh, salty popcorn review. Um, IMBD rated it 5.5 and Rotten Tomato gave it 25%. So uh, it didn't, didn't score that well. Um, but however, let's see in terms of critical success, its budget was 70 million, uh, 70, 75 million in the box office made 72.8. So it wasn't a critically, uh, critically well-received movie. So no sequels for Meet Joe Black or Meet Joe Black's children. Who knows? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so definitely uh, anyone out there listen that's listening, watching, uh, like, subscribe and share. And, uh, you know, be, uh, what did you guys think of this movie or even this sex scene or any other movies with interesting sex scenes? It's like amazing. It? You guys have to watch. It's yeah. very interesting. It's a kind of weird movie. I like weird movie. Mystery. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad Weird. you admit that you like weird movies. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> that's it for this week's episode. Uh, definitely tune in uh, on our next episode. See you guys next year. Next year. Yes. See you yeah. next year. See you in the future. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All Have right. a great day. Subscribe, right. share, comment. Most definitely. Most definitely. All right. See you guys. Bye.